Lawyer, lawyer to cheekbone. Reading you. There's a dugout in the area of the basin, a little to the left. Frequent movement of people is observed. I think there are probably 10 people sitting there. Where the trenches near the dugout are, right, cheekbone? Yes, yes. Plus, now. Cheekbone, cheekbone to OP1. I'm being targeted. Copy. Get to the dugout near you for now. Hole up there. Watch that dugout, very carefully. Adjustments may be needed now. Copy. Cheekbone, cheekbone to OP1. This is cheekbone. Two fuckers are on the move on 12 o'clock. Copy. They should be resting already cheekbone, cheekbone to OP2. There just was a hit where they're moving. Those are our guys working, I guess. Copy. Got it. OP1, I see a hit. Cheekbone, can you make visual adjustments? Kid is asking. We can. Alright, perfect. Shot. These are approximate coordinates, approximate. Do you copy? Copy. Shot. Cheekbone, cheekbone to musician. Reading you. They are firing at our guys with RPGs. Right from the position where they were spotted. From the shelter belt on 12, to the left of the well he stood up just now and is firing. Already fired twice. Copy that. Kid, come in. Who's reading? Who's reading? Hello. So, what? Maybe we can send one person there. What do we need that pan for? You can send someone. We need to get borscht somewhere. We have a pan. Come on. I'm thinking about sending someone. So, what? One man will carry such a pan. Well, yeah. Come on, it's ridiculous. Walking like this across the field. <laughs> Well, can you imagine that's how you go, like that? And you have your weapon with you, cheekbone. Cheekbone to musician. This is cheekbone. 100 meters to the right. And maybe 20 to the back. 20 meters to us, correct? Yes. OP2 to cheekbone. OP2. OP2 to cheekbone. OP2, why is he silent? And watch this area of the basin when you go there. Tell him, now it will be necessary to adjust the mortar there. Cheekbone, cheekbone to Iris. Keep watch for 50 seconds. Copy. OP2, do you copy? This is OP2, copy that. Just had a hit in the shelter belt. Who was shooting? About 50 meters to the right. That was not us. Now, wait, 30 seconds and ours will fly. How are you doing? Fine. They hit us, we hit them. Everything is as it should be. So, it's nothing, really. Holding on. We'll give them more. They were shooting at us with RPGs at our position. Now we are adjusting our guys so they can shoot back. I think everything will be okay. The corpse of a Russian soldier.
Maybe the guys who stormed it, finished him. When the shelter belt was stormed and cleared, there were bodies left there. There are more ahead, I think you will see now. Approximately, 150 to 200 meters, all clear. Copy that, over. By the way, our guys work well here, for all the time here, our artillery works most of the time. Lawyer often adjusts the 80s, 120s, 60s, everything works. It turned out to be a pretty well-coordinated team. Of all positions, this one is my favorite so far. The battalion has, I don't know, like, started working like a single organism. The taxi arrives on time, the boys are changed on time. If someone needs something, they immediately bring it. You just have to walk a bit to have it. Our guys are around here, seeing everything. So, it's nice to work here. Newbies are all fine fellows too. They are already baptized by fire, so to speak. Been through a couple of troubles. You also were in Bakhmut, right? Yes, got an injury there. Three fragments went into the neck. Two of them were pulled out, the third one remained in. I hung out with the map at the pumping station for five days. All in all, it's okay. I'm unaccustomed to being video recorded, it's very embarrassing. There's a thermos full of buckwheat. So, we need to pick it up then, we need to pick it up, do you copy? Now they'll get mad. Get the granny here, to the path of invincibility. The civil volunteers will take her from there. She's all set, well, she must be. When do we pick you up? In the evening or what? Later on, you'll come back on my command and pick me up. Plus, in short, the village is almost destroyed already. Still there are such, more or less intact houses. They said, you. Get your stuff then. No, I thought more would go. I'm not going alone. Now. Leo, Leo the kid. So why don't you want to go? I don't know. I'm just scared. Scared of what? I don't know. It's for your own safety, so that nothing flies in here. You'd better go. See what's going on around. I see. But I'm so upset. Well, I do not know. You'd better go. I'm telling you the truth. Start packing up. Now the car will arrive, and you will be brought to safety. I'm not going anywhere. Later, if you want. You don't want to go and we're worried for you. Yes, you can come back here later, if you want. Everything will be fine. We will look after your chickens. There's enough food to feed them. We are nearby, so we will drop by. Leave your phone number so I can keep you posted. Yes, we will stay in touch with you. Don't worry, we'll be feeding them. No, I'm not going anywhere. I want to die here. Well, dying is easy. Living is hard. You better go, really. See, it's getting worse every day. More and more incoming hits. Well, I won't go, I don't want to. Forgive me, but I don't want to get upset. I take my pills. Excuse me. <laughs> the 
The shelter belt ends and there are frequent hits there. Maybe another one will hit right now. The grads were working last night. First, somewhere in that direction. Three incoming hits at first, and then three more. Then, another 11 to 14 hits. After that, beyond the shelter belt, they hit our guys twice with phosphorus. And there were many incoming hits during the day. But our guys are doing fine, they are holding on. Everything is alright. Good afternoon. Did our guys visit you today? Yes. You don't want to go? No, I don't want to. Now, you know, the Russian troops have approached, they will shoot. But, don't worry, you still have a chance to leave. Volunteers will help you there. I don't want to. Nobody goes anywhere in the night time. I'm not going. Don't you want tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? When you are ready, volunteers will help you. All right. But I will only go if someone else agrees to go too. Well, talk to the neighbors, whoever agrees, we'll pick everyone up and take you to the volunteers. You will be provided with everything you need there. Where will you take me? To Chase of Yar, there'll be civil volunteers waiting for you there. Think again and talk to others, all right? Have a nice day. For you to understand, there is no one there at all, according to the last overflights. Like, they didn't notice anyone, yes, well, and we were spotting those who were walking there. There were, like, 15 to 20 of them when we moved in and now there are 3 to 4, 5 of them tops. Come on, man, I don't believe in that bullshit. Well, two are sitting in the observation post, with another two changing them. Those two are just chilling there, and that's it. Fuck knows, it would be nice if that were the case, but I suspect that this is not the fucking case. You know, drones are spotting them almost 24-7 now. Well, damn, we, too, hide from our drones, and from theirs. It doesn't fucking matter if it's ours or not. Like, visually, there is a foxhole. Feels like an interview for a newspaper. Life of war, they will be done. They have grown cocky, so we should kick some asses. Yes, we were stormed hard today, the assault was fucking crazy. I was awakened by some shit that exploded nearby. The drone even shook a bit. Let's send something their way too. Don't know, well, damn, our dugout shook. My pants that were hanging there swayed. Everything is fine, though. It was one hell of a hit that even your pants shook. They better not shake during the assault, right? Damn right. Didn't you see the switchblade's recent work in that shelter belt in Kharkiv area? Three fuckers were just standing there, and it flew straight into them. One was instantly done, and the other two ran off. Well, not really ran off, more like limped off. Put on your warm socks. It's fucking freezing outside. Is it 12 o'clock already? Yes. Got to work. Time for work now. Oh, damn. We had a direct hit. Take off your glasses and take a look. Fuck. Beautifully done. You can see that we blew their dugout full of ammo. They are definitely staying away now. At night only, they happen to be walking in groups of three, and that's it. You won't see them in the daytime. They were sitting where the ammo was burning, warming themselves up. We were watching that shit, like, totally stunned. Hold on, do you mean that they went inside the dugout with ammo that was still burning? To get warm? Yes, they don't have a potbelly stove in their other dugout. Now they have one. Well, it's easier to detect where their dugouts are thanks to potbelly stoves. So, they're fucked.
Cheekbone, cheekbone to OP1. This is cheekbone. Three fuckers are behind the three humps. Copy.